Pleural Effusion, Thoracic Masterclass, in this lecture the different pauses, types, and presentation of pleural fluid will be discussed, management with different drainage modalities, and special highlights, on pleurodesis and common agents used. Pleural Fluid Dynamics, the daily amount ranges from 250 milliliters to 1 liter, and at any time the pleural fluid space contains 0.01 ml per kilograms, the difference between hydrostatic pressure and oncotic pressure governs parietal pleural fluid turnover, respiratory cycle is subatmospheric, and more during inspiration, fluid filtration occurs at the apex, and absorption at the bottom. Pathology, excess fluid occurs due to increased capillary pressure, and, or permeability, decreased oncotic pressure, and, or intrapleural pressure, obstructed lymphatic pressure. Definition, it is the accumulation of fluid, or abnormal fluid composition in the pleural space. The fluid may be, serous, pus, blood, chyle, digestive content, or iatrogenic. Clinical presentation, symptoms, shortness of breath, dry cough, chest pain, and constitutional symptoms, signs, to kill shift to the opposite side, decreased, chest wall expansion, breath sound, tactile vocal fremitus, stony dullness, if heart failure is present, look for signs of congestive heart failure, look for hepatomegaly. Types of pleural effusion, serious pleural effusion, this can be transudative, or exudative, transudate, it is usually ultrafiltrate of plasma in the pleura due to imbalance in hydrostatic, and oncotic forces in the chests, fluid proteins are usually less than 3 grams percent, causes, congestive heart failure, constrictive pericarditis, cirrhosis, hypolbuminemia, atelectasis, nephrotic syndrome, myxedema, hyperstimulation, amig syndrome, extravascular migration of CVP, and glycinothorax. Exudative, are the result of inflammation of the pleura, or decreased lymphatic drainage, proteins are more than 3 grams percent, causes, perihormonic causes, malignancy, pulmonary embolism, collagen vascular conditions, tuberculosis, pancreatitis, trauma, post-cardiac injury syndrome, esophageal perforation. Lights criteria, the fluid is considered exudate, if the ratio of pleural fluid to serum protein greater than 0.5, ratio of pleural fluid to serum LDH greater than 0.6, pleural fluid LDH greater than two-third of the upper limit of normal serum value. Investigations, chest X-ray, may reveal intrathoracic pathology, amount of effusion, pleural plaques, or thickening, CT sc and the HU, unit may help identify nature of the fluid. Intrathoracic pathology, ultrasonography, the most sensitive tool to determine loculations, blood test, hepato, renal profile, coagulation profile, tumor markers, thoracentesis, both therapeutic and diagnostic, bronchoscopy, when the central mass is suspected, pleural biopsy when other tools fail to reach a diagnosis. Diagnostic thoracentesis this is an indispensable tool for the diagnosis of causes of pleural effusion. The obtained fluid can be analyzed as follows, biochemical analysis. In this analysis, the pH is analyzed and figures below 7.2 denotes poor prognosis for malignancy and poor response to pleurodesis. Proteins, and LDH, are used to differentiate transudate from exudate fluid, glucose which decreases in malignancy, systemic lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, TB and infections, triglycerides, and chelothorax, adenosine deaminase values above 60 mg% or 14 units per liter is diagnostic for tuberculosis, amylase level in pancreatitis and esophageal rupture, hematocrit value more than 50% in active bleeding, other analysis include culture and sensitivity, differential white blood cells, and lastly, systological analysis which have a yield not exceeding 40% in malignant pleural effusion. Management of benign effusion, diagnosis and treat the underlying cause, thoracentesis both therapeutic and diagnostic, chest tube, using small bore tube if repeated effusion, refractory effusion may need, pleurectomy, pleurodesis, long-term catheter drain, or pleuroperitoneal shunt. Management of malignant pleural effusion, in a known case of a malignant pleural effusion, consider symptoms, if no symptoms then observe, if symptomatic refer to a specialist. The first step is to perform thoracentesis, with removal of half to one and half liters of fluid, 
relieve patient symptoms. In a multidisciplinary approach, if the prognosis is less than one month then aspiration is required to control symptoms, if the prognosis is more than one month, then look for trapped lung, is present consider indwelling pleural catheter, if no trapped lung, then the fluid should be drained aiming at pleurodesis, loculations can be taken down by video assisted thoracoscopy if prognosis is more than six months, if failed consider, long term indwelling catheters, if success consider, drain removal, and follow up. The Plorx trademark sign catheter system provides effective at-home palliation of symptoms associated with recurrent pleural effusions. This clinically proven treatment option allows patients to manage their symptoms through intermittent drainages in the comfort of their homes with minimal physician intervention. The Denver shunt transfers pleural fluid into the peritoneal cavity when it is manually pumped. The shunt is indicated for use in patients with refractory pleural effusions, either malignant or chylus, developed as an alternative to chest tube drainage with chemical pleurodesis. This approach can be ideal for patients who cannot achieve pleurodesis due to entrapped lung. Mechanism of pleurodesis, complete apposition of the two pleural surfaces, intrapleural installation of chemical agent, intense pleural inflammation, pleural coagulation fibrinolysis imbalance, recruitment of fibroblasts, and collagen proliferation. Pleurodesis, favorable conditions, pH more than 7.2, glucose level in pleural fluid more than 60 mg percent, fully expanded lung, drainage less than 150 ml per 24 hours. Pleurodesis, agents, talc powderage is considered the standard of care with more than 90% success rate in achieving pleurodesis. However, in some countries talc is not available in the market, other agents are used instead and this includes, tetracycline, bleomycin, iodopovidone and others with variable degrees of success. The following table shows different agents used in clinical practice, and their different success rates. Complications, major adverse of talc powdered pleurodesis includes, chest pain, atelectasis, pneumonia, dysrhythmias, dyspnea, fever, respiratory failure, thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, and rarely empyema. Points to eat considered in clinical practice, when managing a case of pleural effusion, comparative reports denoted, that small bore tube drainage system is less painful and as effective, trapped lung entails, long-term indwelling catheter, drainage below 150 ml per day, is a privilege of success and calls for tube removal, loculated pleural effusion may need video-assisted thoracoscopy in patients with survival more than six months, prior to pleurodesis, intrapleural lidocaine should be given via the chest drain, with a maximum dose of 3 mg per kilogram body weight, around 21 ml of 1% lidocaine solution, and a maximum of 250 mg.